I'm going to now demonstrate how to run Dino KV on Fly.io. Um, so first thing you'll need to have installed is the FlyCTL. This is the command line tool to interact with Fly.io. Um, you will then run FlyCTL apps create to create an app. Uh, we're going to name ours Dino KV video. Um, select an organization to deploy it to, and that's done. Um, you'll then need to go to the Dino KV readme on GitHub and copy this fly.toml file. Um, this is a baseline that will help you set things up. So let's create a file and paste that in. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is set your app to um, the app that you just created. So we're going to call this Dino KV video. And then the region you want to deploy to, we're going to deploy to Amsterdam because that's close to me. Um, and then this just has the image configured where it's uh, pulling the Docker container from um, the internal port. So the port that Dino KV is listening on, um, the path that we want to store the SQLite data at, um, and then a mount point for our volume that's going to store the Dino KV data. So let's actually set that up next. We're going to run um, fly CTL volumes create Dino KV data. Um, so this is where we're going to put our data. And we're putting that in Amsterdam also. And then next, we're going to just create an access token here. So export Dino KV access token. I'm just going to generate one with OpenSSL. So OpenSSL rand base 64, and I'm going to use 15 characters. Um, and that's it. Great. So now we have an access token um, and a volume created. Now we need to just set the secret on Fly.io. So FlyCTL secrets set Dino KV access token. And we're going to set that to Dino KV access token. Perfect. Secrets are staged. We're going to run FlyCTL deploy to deploy our application. And this is going to take a second. OK, and now our app is created at Fly or at dinokv-video.fly.dev. Now we're going to connect to our database using dino.openkv. So first we run dino unstable to open the REPL. Const kv equals await dino.openkv. Oh, kv. Um, paste in the URL that we just deployed to. And now we can run kv.get hello. Um, and you'll see there's nothing set. This is an empty database. We just created it. Um, so let's set something. Uh, let's set the hello key to world. And if we now get the key back again, you'll see the value is set. So we have a database running on flood.io. <laughs>